All right, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today is the 10th day of December 2023. Welcome back to our weekly analysis we normally do every week to predict the market trend, to analyze the market together and then know what we are going to do for the week. So without saying much, let's hop on into the chart. So first we have an eye list. We have the GBP USD on the weekly time frame. As you can see, my levels are well, well plotted out very, very neatly. Um, if you want to learn how I plot my levels, if you want to learn how I do these things very, very well, you have to wait on for me to publish the um, subsequent videos I'm going to do for the course, which I promised I'll be doing for the free course videos, which I promised to be doing for us to learn how I trade. The purpose for that is not for you to trade my own style of trading, but for you to, um, but for me to help you by any way you are struggling in the Forex market you understand what you are also doing there. Yeah. That is my own aim for doing um, the free course videos I am I am doing. So this is a weekly time frame on GBP USD. Weekly time frame on GBP USD. What do we have here? We had market rallied up, came down broke um, previous structures, sorry. We had market rallied up, um, came here to this resistance. This is a very strong resistance where market declined. Market went down and then pulled over. This is also a 50 Fibonacci um, region. Market has closed below it. So for the coming weeks, for last week's trading, we closed as a bearish, engulfing. Um, I remember calling this trade out as of last week that we are heading to the downside for GBP USD, if not for anything, but to this um, line we have here, to this line, and then subsequently we reach the last extension of the Fibonacci um, zone. This is very, very crucial. This is very, very easy to do. This is very, very easy for us to also understand um, the market trends and to understand where exactly the market is headed to, if not for any reason, but for the sakes of your accounts and your real money you are putting out into the market. Don't just trade what you see. Don't just trade anything you see. Look at the possibilities. Look at what um, is going to hold your trade down. Don't just look at um, the win rate and don't just look at um, the charts because they are looking nice and you feel like entry. Put away the feelings and then analyze the markets. Look at the possible things that will make your trades not to go in the right direction. So this is GBP USD on the weekly time frame. We saw our market rally made higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows, reaching this resistance of um reaching this resistance of 1.3, 1.500 and the market declined down. One thing that made me uh, say we are going to sell this market from this point last week was because to reach um, the, um, the previous resistance, this is the previous resistance of 1.26700. Price reached there and then in the past, price has also um, declined from these regions. If you look here, when you broke it, you used it as resistance and went down. When it came here, you used it as resistance and then came to this support. Because it was in an uptrend, it came here and then rejected, showing you that, yes, this is a well-respected area. And even when price broke it, it came back to sit on it before making that move to this um, resistance level here. So on reaching this resistance level, price declined price declined on this resistance level and then came on here. And when price was coming up, I was just waiting for um, to see uh, how price, we, I was just waiting for 
price to see how price we act on the fee region which i drew from swing high to swing low and price has closed on the weekly time frame price has closed below the 50 um below the 0 0.50 region which is a very very crucial something for us to look at from so that is that is it for the weekly time frame and well explained. So if you come on to the daily time frame, this is where you look at the sorry, I'm already short on this. As of last week, I shot it on Monday after I saw the after I saw my confluences on the four hour time frame, which I um after I saw my confluences on the four hour time frame, which I entered the trade immediately, my stop losses came above um, the previous high. <laughs> so um, my stop losses came above the previous highs. So, this is my reason for shorting this pair. And if you come on the four hour time frame, if you come on the four hour time frame, I had my confluences, I drew my counter trend line, and we saw the break. We saw the we saw the break here, we saw the pullback. I executed my trades. When the the four hour candle closed below the trend line, the counter trend line, this is the counter trend line. I saw my my uh my edge in the market and then I jumped in from here. Yeah? Market came here, rejected. This is um of course the previous demand zone. Market rejected and then finally broke it. Market moved away from there and then came back. This was where I added another position to this point. Once market reaches here, I will take out much of my positions. So there is still opportunity trading this because this is also a demand zone. This is also a demand zone. You can see the rejections of weeks. We are more likely to come back into this zone again, which will put me into drawdown, but that is fine because I have uh, a position already opened here, which um, I don't even panic at all because this is swing trading. I don't even panic at all because this is swing trading. I know there's ups and downs swing trading. You have to place um, a lot with your emotions and stuff like that. But it's best for me because I have time to do other things I wish to do. So this is all for GBP USD. Remember, we are on a downtrend now, right from the weekly time frame, we saw the bearish engulfing. And we saw the pullback into the 50% um, FIB extension. And then we saw how the last week's uh, candle closed as the bearish engulfing. We saw how the last week's candle closed as the bearish engulfing, engulfing the previous bar of um, two weeks ago. This is my own confluence for shorting this pair. We saw the bearish engulfing and then Price came into the 50 Fibonacci region and rejected again. <laughs> so price came into the 50 Fibonacci region and then rejected and closed right below the region, which I am going to be expecting um, pull back into this zone again to then add more positions for this. So this is all for GBP USD. Next, to we'll move on to the Next, we move on to the AUD CHF um, pair. This is the AUD CHF pair. I've been calling this for the longest time. I've been calling this for the longest time. So, what are what are we going to be looking at for? You come on the the monthly time frame. I think the CHF uh, is very very weak as of the moment, but anything can happen in the market. Anything can virtually happen in the market. One thing that will help you is for you to understand uh, the market structure, understand your top-down analysis, and then you try to 
do your best in your technical analysis. So this is the monthly time frame. We saw we've seen the rejections, the pin bars formation that have been seen here. And then if you come on the weekly time frame, last week's trading, we closed with uh, a dodgy candlestick, looks more of a, a pin bar, looks more of a pin bar um, candlestick. Price made a double bottom here. Price made a double bottom here. And then we have fried the weight. For us to be safe on this trade, it's actually for us to wait for the break of this neckline it's for us to wait for a break of this neckline. As you can see, there is uh, a counter trend line from here to here, which price has broken that already, but the, the double bottom is not yet confirmed. The double bottom is not yet confirmed, which is why I am saying for us to be safe on this pair, it's for us to wait for the break of this zone. The, from here to here, is not much of um, a peeps for us to, with for this is about 118 pips, which if you want to um, be safe on your account and then preserve your money for the long run, you have to wait for the break of this double bottom, the break of the neckline of this double bottom, and then wait for a pullback, which we give rise to. If we are waiting for the pullback, which we give rise to somewhere here like this, wait for the pullback into the neckline, then we show this pair all the way to this point here. Yeah. There is no much uh, trading opportunities. There is no trading opportunities at the moment for AUDCHF. I marked out this zone and then price came back and then rejected. But we are solely going to wait for the break of this neckline, which we saw on the weekly time frame. Then we wait for a pullback, a, 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 a better pullback wait for a better pullback before we enter this trade to the upside. Just simple. Patience is the key. You have to wait for the, the trade to play out. If you are in a haste to enter positions, you enter with little amount of your account, which we have about here. If you are in a haste to enter, Draw your counter trend line, wait for the break, wait for the pullback. But mind you, we do have a major resistance here. We do have a major resistance from the monthly time frame, which is here. We do have a, a major resistance from the monthly time frame, which is here. So anything you are doing in between this place, you are just risking your money. It's risking, but then yeah, you don't know really what is going to happen to the market. So for you to be safe, you wait on the weekly time frame. You wait for the break of this guy, this bad guy here, neckline. Then you wait for the pullback. You now enter with confidence. Uh, the trade will uh, rally all the way to the upside, all the way to sixty-seven five hundred. This is all for uh, AUDCHF. Very very simple and explained. Wait for the setups to happen then you enter your trade to the upside for AUD CHF. Next, uh, we'll look at um, the S&P 500, which I was talking about last week, which I was talking about last week. Levels are neatly plotted as usual. The levels are neatly plotted as usual. We saw um, the inverse head and shoulder pattern we had on the weekly time frame. Then we saw the break. This is the same break I was talking about on um, AUDCHF. Always wait for the pullback. This was the pullback which happened. This was the pullback which happened. We saw the pullback into the neckline of the inverse head and shoulder pattern. Then we put out, we took out our feet, drew from swing low to swing line. From swing low to swing high, so the rejection from the golden zone, so the rejection from the golden zone, which gave rise to the massive move to uh, these um, points, this um, four six one eight uh, region, which is also um, four thousand six hundred and twelve dollars. 
um, on S and P five hundred. So for us to look for further trading opportunities on this pair, we do know that we do know that our last uh, our last zone for this price to reach is this resistance, and subsequently the last FIB extension. And subsequently, the last FIB extension. So for us to be safe is uh, is for us to actually watch what the market is going to do. We've seen on the daily time frame the bearish engulfing on this um, support zone, which was a resistance before, because the price had rejected uh, on this resistance um, for the past. Price has rejected on this resistance previous uh, price movement. So uh, this resistance was broken and then used as support. For us to find trading opportunities is to actually go on the lower time frame to um, pick out trading opportunities for this pair. We saw the counter trend line, the break, and then the pullback. We saw the massive um, pimba um, candlestick which formed and then we are most likely to continue going up or we'll still come back into this support zone, which is also the demand zone, because we've seen how price acted here in the past. One, two, three. Three um, touches from the support zone is good for the upside. Then three touches from the uh, resistance zone is good for the downside. So this is all for S&P 500. Right now, there's no currently trading opportunities. If you are not in the trade yet, I advise you should wait for a clear movement before you jump in the market. If you didn't buy from the right time, if you didn't buy from the spot, if you have not sold any pair from the resistance, you should always wait for a clear movement before you jump in any trade at all you want to trade in the forex market. So on my list now we've done for GBP USD, we've done for uh, AUD CHF, which I said wait for a clear break of structure, wait for a clear break of the neckline of the double button we had on the weekly time frame, which is powerful charts um, pattern reversal wait for these um, confluences to happen before you hop on your trade um, to the upside. Same thing for um, GBP USD, which I said um, for last week's trading, we had the massive um, bearish engulfing, uh, which was also, uh, which price also put back to the golden zone, 50% um, FIB extension, and also the 618, FIB extension, we saw price pull back to those regions and then we saw the bearish engulfing from the um, last week's trading, which gave rise to a very, very uh, uh, good edge for us to short um, the pound uh, dollar uh, pair to the downside. Also for S&P 500, I said we should wait for a clear direction to the upside. We know our market is coming right uh, to this um, resistance zone. We know our market is coming right to this resistance zone of 4,800 because this is a well-respected um, zone from the weekly time frame and also from the day, from the monthly time frame. Sorry, a well-respected zone. So our next target will be to this zone. But mind you, we do have a minor resistance level here. We do have a minor resistance level here. Which market closed last week on this resistance? Market never broke it on this resistance or from this resistance. Market closed right under it. This is a very, very strong minor resistance. If you drag it to the left, so our price acted as resistance on this zone here. So anything you are doing on S&P 500, if 
at all you didn't join this street from down here you should wait for a clear direction or a, a proper break of this trend line something like this wait for a proper break of this trend line then you wait for a pullback and you buy this pair to that zone definitely once this thing breaks here and then you know our next level target will be to this um, resistance of 48,000. Place your trade, place your stop loss below the last low, which is here, because the markets can just come in here and then want to um, play around here a little, which is why I said you place your stop loss below here. Place your stop loss below here, then your take profit will be here. This is a very, very nice. Um, risk to reward of um, this is a very nice risk to reward ratio we have the target to be about 200 pips which can make you um, a good money for this month's trading so this is all for s p 500 very very nice moving pair wait for a clear break of this resistance like i said this is a very strong resistance on this is a very strong minor resistance. So for you to hop in on this trade is to wait for proper break. Allow the market to shy, allow the market to move away from this um, resistance, which is going to be used as support. Then you wait for um, the pullback to this zone. Then you enter right from there to the upside. Next on my list, um, we do have good, but I don't have anything to say on good as of now because good has been doing the up and down. Last week's trading we closed as a bearish uh, engulfing candlestick. So I am actually looking at good to come down to this resistance, this um, trend line. This was the first touch. This was the second touch. And then I'm actually looking at good to come down to this third touch of this trend line, which will enable price break uh, the, which will enable price break the strong resistance, uh, which pushed price at the markets open as of last week. This will enable price break this at the third touch of this trend line. Come on to the daily time frame. We saw how price rejected from um, the 2080 region for gold from this resistance. And then we made, this is actually a counter trend line. Market has broken it from last week's trading on Friday. Market broke it. And then definitely we are going to wait for a pullback, which I also um, denoted in the last week's video um, of the weekly analysis I made. So we're just going to wait for a proper break of this counter trend line. And then definitely we are going to come down to this trend line to then look for trading opportunities to the upside. As of now, if though you want to enter gold, you wait for a proper um, break of this trend line has broken already, wait for a pullback to retest this trend line then to then um, sell it up to this um, third touch of this trend line. If you want to be safe, this is a resistance. You wait for a proper break of this resistance, of this support. This is a support because price had already broken it and wait for a proper break of this support. Then let's market use it as resistance you find your um, trading opportunities with the counter trend line strategy then you hop in on this trade take out your take out much of your positions hold some to this um, trend line we have on the weekly time frame coming for we are coming for the third touch of this we are coming for the third touch of this um, bad guy here Definitely, we are coming for the third touch of this bad guy. <laughs> I'm going to be coming for the third touch of this bad guy. So, 
be on the watch out for good because the overall the overall uh, move the overall trend for good is bullish the overall trend for good is bullish so this this region has been a very very like strong region for price to break but we are definitely going to break it when price does what it wants to do. So just be on the watch out for this to happen sooner or later during uh, this month or uh, next month. That is all for good. Last one we have is card CHF. So from the monthly time frame, no, sorry, from the weekly from the weekly time frame, um, price is at the very very bottom of uh, the market. This is the very very bottom of the market where price is at at the moment. So last week's trading, we saw the bearish engulfing candlestick, which engulfed this pin bar we had. Uh, the prior week, the previous week, uh, that gave rise to last week's trading. If you come on the daily time frame, this was where I found my trading opportunities. Remember, I've been calling this for like two weeks ago. I've been calling this trade like two weeks ago. So, put out my counter trend line, which is also a strategy. I used to enter the market. I waited for the break of this trend line, then the pullback of this trend line. I waited for the break of this trend line, and then I waited for a pullback. This was where I entered after I got my confirmation on the four hour time frame. After I got my confirmation on the four hour time frame, and then market has been doing very, very fine since then. We saw the two um, dodgy candlesticks that formed there, and then we saw this massive um, bullish engulfing. This was the break of the trend line. We saw all these things, and then I hopped in after I got my confirmation um, before our time frame, where price gave me a double bottom. Price gave me a double bottom here. Then I waited for price to get above this region here. Therefore, price to get above this region. And this was where I hoped in after I saw this formation. And most likely, price is going to continue going up because we are in an uptrend at the moment. But to be sure of this move, uh, movement, we also have to wait for proper market structures to be shifted to the upside, wait for proper um, chart patterns to print out, um, but I'm already um, long on this pair because I, I, I trust my own strategy. I trust the way I trade. I trust the way I analyze the market, and then I know exactly what I am doing. If you are not sure, this is just, uh, this is just uh, an opinion for you to take in into your trading consideration. I don't make these videos in a way. Uh, you trade the way I do, but you also understand the way I understand the forex market. So this is all for we have for today and for this week's trading. So you guys should understand how I trade, how I analyze um, this market, how I am able to make uh, money from this market. The money is not much, but then we are getting there time by time. Um, we are getting there small, small. Uh, we are getting there small, small. We are not going to rush on anything at all. We are just going to take it step by step. I know sometime in the future, I will be like my, my, um, I'll be like my master in trading, which is Dapo Willis. He's a very, very good man. He's a very, very rich and famous man. 
I love the way he look at the market. He's able to predict thousands of pips. I learned um, all these things I do from him. I learned how to predict the market from him, from his Forex uh, mastery course. Once again, which I am going to put the link in the description for you guys to also patronize and then learn how to trade the way he does. I learned everything from him. I restrict to just my own strategy to suit my own uh, trading account. When I get to his own trading levels and trade exactly the way he does. But all the same, all are the same. All are the same. The way I trade is no different from the way he trades. He's a very good man and he knows what he is doing in the market. Like I remember when I started trading, it was very, very, very difficult for me. I would learn a strategy this night. And if I sleep, I wake up, I forgot everything I learned the previous night. It was that bad. I will forget everything I learned the previous night. It was that bad. And when I stumbled on um, the, Forex, the Forex Mastery course, that was when everything changed for me. I started becoming consistent. I started becoming like prompt to what I am doing. Uh, my trades no longer hit stop losses again, but then break even from break even, trades went in my um, positions, trades went in my um, directions and so on and so forth. So I want you guys to trade the way I do. I want you guys to understand the way I understand the charts and then the forex market and also less is more trading much pairs we rather cause your psychology you have to be um, a you have to be the market analyst no you have to trade um less amount of pairs so that you can be able to specialize on them and then understand what you are doing in the market understand don't trade much best because that would temper with your own psychology because imagine if you don't understand um imagine if you don't understand mathematics in school and then you are offering it how would that make you feel if you don't understand even if you go deep inside if you're not a mass person even if you go deep inside you're never going to understand it the same thing with trading for us you have to trade the simpler you have to treat the basic ones which we have, like the Euro USD, the GDP USD, the um, the USD JPY, the the basic, um, the major pairs we have before you move on to the minor and then the exotic pairs. You can just pick about one or two of them to specialize on them and then know their market movement. That is the only way you can be able to understand these pairs and then once when they occur you hop in on your trade and then find trading opportunities to capitalize from so once again that is all i have for today and this week's trading that is all i have for this week's trading you guys should remain safe and then protect your accounts for the long run Protect your accounts for the long run. I will link the Forex Mastery course in the description below. So you can go check it out and then also purchase and learn the way we trade. Now I'll be that though. <laughs> now I'll be that though. <laughs> uh...